Hi everyone and welcome back and what we're we doing this week well it's time to face that dreaded palm tree a while back we did some six mil trees using poly cotton and we've done it with wooden scenics and we've also done it with um, wadding so please check out the videos there and off the back of that I've got to ask well how do you do six mil trees as a palm tree the nightmare for any crafter so let's get down to the table and have a look Right, first of all, what we need, so we've got ourselves a nice little pipe cleaner, these are the craft pipe cleaners, um, dirt cheap to pick up for kids crafts, it's a nice green one, I quite like green or brown because if you miss anything with the paint, it's very forgiving because you've already got a colour that blends in. A lighter, a pair of snips, so the first thing we're going to do is put the lighter out of the way, we're going to measure out about two and a half inches on our pipe cleaner, bend, and then do it again, just like that. So now we have three lengths. If you want to, you can leave that bit. You could always leave the extra bit, you can paint it as leaves, cut it, and then you can actually strip these bits off and then put them on the ground as like fallen bits. But in this instance, I'm just going to cut it. So it cuts quite easily. And then we're going to cut that one, cut our loop, like that. So now we've got to work out our height. So, good tradition, here's one I made earlier. So we're looking around here. And we're pressing it, leave some room for it to press in. So, we just twist, just using this to hold it together. So we're going to get this quite tight. Out the way, keep twisting. So that there will make your branch. Branches come out like that. If you wanted to, you could add another one in, you could twist one in underneath, have another little one. It's up to you, it's quite versatile. Basically, we've got this trunk here twisted. So pull these back out of the way again. We get our snips, don't cut. So you can either use snips or you can use a pair of needle nose pliers. Also it acts like a heat sink to stop the heat traveling up. Get our lighter. Gently burn it off, just don't let it catch fire. So you might want a bowl of water next to you. And don't burn your finger. You can see it shrinking back. So I'm going to shrink this back a little bit more. There we go. So you get a nice hard stem, trunk, and you just bend these out. So we compare it to the other one, because obviously you can have more different sizes anyway. These are the bases I used on a previous tree build. So you could actually have it hanging the wrong way down. At the moment, it still looks like a pipe cleaner. Um, this is where the paint actually really helps you because it starts putting the fibres together. So we're going to grab some paint and we're going to get it painted up. Right, so we've just grabbed some paint. We've got some burnt umber and some dark green. And I did get a cream for dry brushing afterwards. So I've got some on the palette. So the first thing to do is we're going to do the trunk so we can bend the leaves leaves back. Just grab your brown. I tend to use an old brush. Just really work it in. What's quite nice is because the way you melted this and the wrap of the wire underneath it actually gives the texture of the trunk of the tree. You get that like ring effect. So there we go. Let's just keep working it in. Like that. So we'll let that dry a little bit while we wash this out. Or if you're in a rush, you can just keep going and blend up here. The only trouble you've got then is finding somewhere to get hold of it. So let's try and get in around here. So 
Right, it's still wet, you can sort of get like a wet blend around the bottom here, not that you're going to really see it in this scale. So, get hold of the end, just do the underneath first. DD, you want to go the way of the branch. So we use green because obviously it's tail, it's quite hard to make sure you get it all. This makes it forgiving. I'm working with the grain of the pipe cleaner. There we go. Just a little bit more. Get the odd strands, we deal with them at the end. Fold. There a little bit. Let's come back down here a little bit. Let's dollop in the middle there. So it's in working down. I have to get some more paint on the bottom. So it's surprising how much paint this actually does take. going the way they would do on a palm tree. So just grab a little bit more paint. Yeah, I'm up. Guaranteed, isn't it? Right, so just keep going. So just shove it in something. In the hole we made already. Let that dry and then we'll come back when that's dry and just add some highlights. Right, once we get to a point that the paint's fairly dry on our first coat, we can then start adding some highlights. We'll just grab a cream. This is a dry brush, so work most of it out. Just a bit too much of the green and buried in the bottom of the brush. Oops, don't want to do that. There you go. Alright, let's try, this. try again. You can just get a quick brush up. That's where you start to see the texture from the burning come out. That looks quite good. Make sure I take the green there. So I just wipe your fingers. Over. Now you can use the cream and you can use the light green to come down here. So I'm going to add some. Scorch marks on it. Put that out a little bit. Okay, now I just get a light green brush. Work it out, brush again. I'll try and get the tops on the deed, the underneath. So I'll try and work these out a little bit so they go the right way. Might still be a little bit too wet. Yeah. So you just, just so you got some variation in it. There you go. That's my dog saying, "Hey, Dad, what you up to?" There we go. There we go. Get these to come this way. You work with it, you think, just a little bit. Right, so you've got a bit of variation there. This branch is obviously a bit too long. So I'm going to snip a little bit off of there. Like that. So shaping it. Obviously, you can do a lot with these. Bend them up, you can do it like a plume. There's all sorts of. Su when you say palm tree, it's actually quite surprising how many different shapes there are. So let's get that. A pair of scissors, and a little snip, get rid of the squareness, just like that. That's pretty good. There we go. And we'll let that dry, we'll stick it in the base, and we'll come back and have a look afterwards. Right, 
So we made our palm trees, I've just shoved them into a base. This is the base from the other trees we did. There we go, and I've used some of the little off cut bits, some little bits off the branches to make some little brush bits. So great for jungle terrain. This one obviously can go down a bit more, they're not stuck in properly. Um, it's in the trunk, quite nice. Still not on the first one I did, as the trial was a little bit thick. It shows you can do different styles. I reckon you could even get four or five branches into this, so four five bits of pipe cleaner and still melt it down and get it quite thin because it'd still go thinner than what it is there. Overall I'm quite happy with that technique. Um, I definitely won't be buying palm trees for 6mm if I can make them that quick. So hopefully people can have a go and it's useful for your 6mm scale stuff. I don't think 6mm gets enough love. I used to love 6mm for Epic, Space Marine Epic, good old days. And then now moved on to playing Horizon Wars, which is quite similar in a way with your Titans and everything else and futuristic. But obviously, a lot of people play Vietnam, Second World War. There's a lot of games that use 6mm and jungle terrain, desert style terrain, where you get palm trees. So, hopefully, you found this helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, get it out there. Um, the channel does have a Patreon link now to help support the channel, it's down in the description. Completely up to you, any donations are greatly received. But at the end of the day, I'm going to be doing this whatever, so yeah, stuck with me. So, see you all soon, have a great week gaming, cheers.